Whiplash. It's a term that we're all familiar with and one that kind of evokes images of getting rear-ended in a car accident. Oftentimes when patients are referred with a diagnosis of what they think or what their doctor thinks is whiplash, they didn't have a car accident. They were in the gym lifting weights. They jumped out of the bed of a truck. They had a fall while skiing. They moved something really, really fast and in the context of doing so, somehow managed to get their head moving backward really rapidly or their body moving forward really rapidly followed by an abrupt stop. And that's essentially the mechanism of whiplash. And what most of us think about as severe neck pain can also actually include headache, pain in the shoulder or shoulder girdle between the shoulder blades, lower back pain, dizziness, pain or numbness and tingling in the arm or the hand, difficulty remembering or concentrating, irritability, fatigue, maybe even sleep disturbances or insomnia. I myself have had whiplash and it can affect and pervade every area of your life. And although there's no specific protocol that clinicians nationwide can agree on to treat whiplash, it has to be approached with a very thorough history taking. Sometimes imaging is required to make sure that there aren't any vital structures that have been injured, but treatment should and usually does include medications like non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, Motrin, Advil, Naproxen, Aleve, these are some that you might be familiar with, gentle exercises, sometimes manual or mechanical traction, massage, heat, ice. Ultrasound here in the clinic can also be an effective modality in the acute stages. However, one of the most important things to remember about whiplash is that early motion is proven in the literature to be much more effective than immobilization. We used to immobilize patients immediately in a cervical collar, but most modern literature encourages early movement instead of immobilization. Ice is very, very effective in the acute phase to calm down pain and calm down inflammation. But we highly encourage you, if you think you've suffered a whiplash injury, to get here to the clinic for a thorough one-hour evaluation to review all of your symptoms, do a complete history taking, neurological screening examination, and decide whether or not physical therapy will be effective at treating your painful symptoms associated with your neck pain, headache, shoulder dysfunction, headaches, etc. associated with what could be a very severe whiplash injury.